the Steenbok, we went to the Limpopo province in South Africa, between the towns Marken and Baltimore, right on the latitude circle of the Tropic of Capricorn. The Steenbok, when disturbed, will run a short distance, stop, and turn to face backwards. The horns is upright, straight spikes, without ridges, with an average length of 3.5 to 7.5 inches, 9 to 19 centimeters long. Well, today we are hunting for Steenbok. Uh, this area is known for its Steenbok. It's between Baltimore and Marken. It's on Donny's. Uh, Donnie's farm. He's got quite a lot of steamboat here because he really, his family has been looking after them. They like these old open fields. It's got a bit of scrub on it. Uh, we're a little late but we're going to see if we can spot one laying down and then try to stalk up to it. Let's see. Number three for the tiny tent. This will be number three. Female steer bucket we were watching. We looked in there, and all of a sudden there was a, a male that stood up and he's walking after her. Yeah, it looks like he wants to mate, and it's not right, quite the right time of the year, but we're gonna, uh, we came downwind, we're gonna try to come around. The only problem is we got the sun in our faces, so we're standing out quite a bit, but let's give it a go. A plover is better known as a kiwi. I can hear some more plovers in front of us, so we might get into trouble with them. Like I said, that's the only thing it might. and she started walking closer and closer to us and then the male, the ram, stood up as well and he followed her and they came up to about 40 yards and we were just getting into position to shoot and we just, we were watching them and the next moment they were all looking into a different direction and another steamboat ram came running in chasing the male that was with the female out of the territory. I think it was his territory. So she's she's bedded down probably about 50 yards from us at the moment. We, I think we're going to leave her sneaking here this afternoon again. 
and maybe see if that, that rams wouldn't return a bit later on. It's a young, young steenbuck ram. Afternoon hunt. Are you trying again for steenbuck? We took a midday break. Hopefully these guys have settled down a bit. We've seen quite a bit driving, but they're still laying down. Some of them are starting to get up, so... There's one standing there as well. Self as the buck. Just give him a moment. We were very lucky on this one. He thought we were something in his territory. These animals I'm telling you are very territorial, so it's a good thing to focus on. And you just go, you move slowly and I get curious and they come and they come and look. I actually shot at this one and I missed it, I shot over him. Can you believe it? My luck changed and he came around and I got a second shot on him. This time he came right up to 20 yards. I tell you, I put my pin low under him. I put my 20 yard pin probably about 4 or 5 inches underneath him and I still, still went down a lot when my arrow struck home. It's a very nice male. Beautiful. Beautiful. So, looks like a four, four, uh, four inch. Well, this is a beautiful steerbuck. Uh, we were very fortunate to get this one. This morning our luck wasn't uh, going too too well with us, but this afternoon it turned out that the curiosity killed the steerbuck. He came walking up to us at about 25 yards. I aimed under him. Pull the arrow off and the arrow hit home. I used the Matthews Black Max uh, vapor arrows with a rocket expandables. Thank you for Madman Productions for capturing this for me on video and also for Donny van Grienen for having us hunt on his beautiful property.